What is up witches and wizards, muggles and nomadges, I'm Animagus and today we have some great news about the next brilliant event that is coming up in Wizards Unite. Before we dive into that though, I do want to clarify something that I want to call omissions and corrections, a new section that I'll probably have to do at the beginning of every video because I do screw up a lot or I misspeak a lot in my videos. Uh, but something that's kind of been going around in the past few days about the community day this Saturday is that you will be able to only get high, severe, and emergency threat level spawns from dark detectors no matter what. So like the really, really rare hard things to find are going to be the only things that you see spawning uh, across every family, every registry family, and that is actually not the case. So we're not guaranteed to have those spawns. So that was something that was kind of going around for a little bit, but it was just a miscommunication. So no harm, no foul, and on to this brilliant event. So of course, with this brilliant event comes a new set of tasks, rewards, and all kinds of cool stuff that we can expect to see in Wizards Unite. Of course, this all starts Tuesday, January 21st at 11 a.m. PST, or PDT, it's actually PDT. Uh, to help you on your tasks, here is what you can use to find as a guide, if you will. You can check out this image I'm about to put on the screen to know where to find those brilliant foundables. First, we'll have Charity Burbage, Professor Charity Burbage. She actually headed up the Muggle Studies Division uh, at Hogwarts. You'll be able to find her in Wizarding Challenges or in Fortresses with Brilliant Runestones matching the Darkest of Times tag. Professor Trelawney will be found in Brilliant Port Keys. You'll need five fragments for her. The glass jug of pumpkin juice will be rewarded from tasks. That will be one fragment. Post Owl will be one fragment as well. Also a reward from tasks. Brilliant Dumbledore, you'll need 15 to place him. And that is a brilliant encounter in the wild. And Brilliant Fox will also be a wild encounter that you will need 15 fragments of. So it actually is really, really awesome. Uh, that we have those specific things that we'll be able to go after. I'm really excited to see what is said about Charity Burbage. Again, the last time we saw her was actually in the film or in the book at the very beginning of Deathly Hallows, and it didn't go so well for her. My friend. Of course, Professor Trelawney, one of the people who I still firmly believe predicted the actual calamity will be a foundable as well. So I'm very interested to see what the dialogue looks like, particularly around the event that of course, Dumbledore and Fox will also be a part of. Every time you see Dumbledore and Trelawney together, something epic happens. So I'm very, very intrigued and very interested to see what happens here. Uh, fortunately for us as players, we also get an hour long Barufio's brand elixir for this week as well. So last week we had the Frosty Foundables event. This week we had some ordinary time. And now next week with this brilliant event, we have one hour long Barufio's brand elixir boost. So that is incredible. Great grinds, great XP. Lots of XP will be had with this particular event just because it is, again, a brilliant event. And with these new brilliant foundables, we are going to be getting a ton of that. Brilliant port keys will be three kilometers. Uh, as a reminder, port keys from part one will only give you part one fragments. That means if you pick up at least five of those port keys this week, you will get five Professor Trelawney's. Next time they have a brilliant event or the second part of this particular brilliant event, there will not be any more Trelawney spawning. So get five port keys this week in order to guarantee you get all of the Trelawney fragments that you need. Of course, there's a bonus assignment with this one as well. So that's really awesome and really fortunate as well as I love the bonus assignments. It always yields something really cool, like a title or a badge. And we can actually see that with this event as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the tasks. For task number one, we will have to cast five good casts for one restricted section book, return 10 foundables for 25 brilliant family XP, and use two potions for 25 brilliant family XP. The completion rewards for that are going to be 300 wizarding XP, one restricted section book, one young Dumbledore hat for your portrait, three Baneberry ingredients that you'll be able to use for tonic for trace detection, and three hermit crab shell ingredients that will be for your dawdle drafts. Task number two, 
Return Brilliant Fox five times for 500 Wizard XP. Cast Arresto Momentum three times for 20 Brilliant Family XP. Brew three potions for 15 Brilliant Family XP. And your completion rewards for the second task of this Brilliant event will be 25 Brilliant Family XP, two Restricted Section Books, one Ornate Frame, Phoenix for your portrait, um, one glass jug of pumpkin juice that's actually going to be a registry sticker, four snowdrop ingredients that you can use in any variety of Eximulo potion that you prefer, and two keys. I always love when they give out keys because, well, of course it usually means that you have to unlock some portmanteau, but it's also free keys, so that's amazing. I always use the free keys during these events because I'm not netting a loss or anything like that, so that's always really cool to have. Again, I say this with every time we have to brew potions for any sort of event or anything like that, but a really, really good tip and a really good uh, way to get done with this faster is to go ahead Monday night, you go ahead and brew three potions. I usually brew something simple that I have a lot of ingredients for, like Extimulos or Dawdle Draft or Invigoration Potions, something like that. And I put them in the cauldron and I leave them there and I don't touch them until I get to this particular step in the task because when you do get to this step in the task, all you have to do is go to your potions, collect those from the cauldron, and you're on to the next step. So that's a really handy tip uh, for you if you have never done that before. Looking at task number three, we have return Brilliant Dumbledore five times for 500 wizard XP. Cast three great casts for 500 wizard XP. Unlock five port key portments. Oh, there you go. I called it <laughs> for 15 brilliant family XP. And when you complete the third task, you will be getting 25 brilliant family XP, five restricted section books, one Dumbledore's glove animated sticker for portrait, one Fox animated sticker for your portrait, and one dark detector. Uh, after that, you'll move right along to task four, which is the final in the normal set of tasks. Task four is comprised of three steps. One, use three dark detectors. You get 25 brilliant family XP for that. Return seven high threat foundables for three red spell books, and then collect 20 fragments for 25 brilliant family XP, 50 coins, five restricted section books, one post owl brilliant registry image, which is the sticker I mentioned before, one licorice snaps animated sticker for your portrait, and 750 wizarding XP. Now, this is kind of tricky. If you want to do it this way, you absolutely can, but the way that I try to go after this step in particular, when it comes to collecting 20 fragments, I like to wait as long as I possibly can before collecting any fragments for these foundables of the Brilliant Event, because they are guaranteed to be brand new, they are guaranteed to be unique foundables that you have never had before, or have to worry about prestiging. So, what I will try to do this particular event is after task two and task three, I will have 10 fragments, or I'll have five of Fox and five of Dumbledore. Well, the cool thing about that is, in order to fill out their sticker page or to place their stickers, you have to have 15 a piece. So with some simple math, we can figure out that it will only be 10 of each left to cast or catch or release or however you wanna talk about that. So what I will personally be doing and another tip that you can use to kind of help speed yourself along through this final step and get to the bonus assignment is to wait until the fourth step or the fourth task in this quest line to get the rest of those Dumbledore fragments and the rest of those Fox fragments. So that way, as soon as you get your 15, you can place your stickers, you can collect all those rewards and move right along to the bonus assignment. Speaking of the bonus assignment, let's go ahead and outline those details for you right now. Return 15 high threat foundables for three keys, unlock 10 port key portmanteau for two strong extimulo potions, and return brilliant Dumbledore 30 times. Now, 10 port keys is a lot. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's really crazy, actually. It's a lot of walking. But I promise you, you will be able to walk off all 10 of those port keys. And I'm very excited for uh, this particular event. I love the rewards for this. Um, of course, after you do all of that, you'll be getting one young Dumbledore coat for your portrait, 
2,000 Wizarding XP, 100 Brilliant Family XP, which guarantees you a runestone, even though it's usually 40 or 60 for this, you'll at least get one runestone for the Darkest of Times event, four Red Spellbooks, and one title, The Paragon of Paramountcy, which sounds so cool and verbose, <laughs> like grand. <laughs> That's super cool. Uh, but another cool thing that we'll be getting from this event is this badge as well of Dumbledore. So I love every single thing that has to do with this event. I, I love all of these steps. I love all of the rewards. I feel like they're very good. Of course, could we get more red spell books? Yes, absolutely. Could we get more restricted section books? I mean, I'm sitting okay with those right now. Um, obviously, the grind now is the red spell book. So hopefully... You guys are able to get some of those skills maxed out. Hopefully you're able to uh, continue to progress in your, in your profession and enjoy this particular event. Now, if you found something of value or if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a comment down below uh, and let me know what you think about this particular event. Are you excited? Are you ready to get out there and, and walk around and play and cast and all that good stuff? I know that I'm very interested to see what the storyline looks like so of course as always if you haven't already and you did enjoy the video you enjoyed the the content you got something of value please let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below as well as hitting that red subscribe button and ringing that bell on the way out so you know the next time i produce a piece of wizards unite or harry potter content i've started dabbling in potter world minecraft and a few other things here and there and i'm really excited to get back into crafting once it stops raining at my house uh, so definitely more content to come on the channel. Thank you all so much for being part of this journey and for watching this video. Until next time, peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>